Hey Blades, welcome to another week. I hope you had a great weekend. I'm excited for what this week in Elder Scrolls Blades holds for us. Because we, we know with a pretty good certainty the voiceovers are coming. I've seen some other cool things that might be coming. We'll talk about that later. This week, we're going to be talking about enchantments. Donnie, that's the wrong clip. This isn't Shark Week. I don't care if you couldn't find a good clip for enchantments. Come on, this is unprofessional. There's nothing to do with sharks, all right? All right, sorry about that. Yeah, hard to find good help. So enchantment week. So we're going to talk about today getting your gear to legendary by using enchantments. Tempering is not the only way to do this. So first, you need at least enchantment tower level four. And no, I never thought I never thought of something. Just, yeah, there's a tower. Okay. And uh, so you, once you do have that, you can go in, go to enchant. Let's do this dwarven mace. You know, embers is the first level. Burning is the second. So just by enchanting it, one once here we can get it to rare and even epic and then if we had upgraded if we upgraded the the enchantment tower again we'd have access to debilitation and that'll give us some epic and some legendary as an aside i always found it weird that they put all this in the same interface like the uh the the level of enchantments are mixed in this one enchantment interface. So at level four, you can't get legendary without some tempering. So let's take a look at the fine Dwarven Longsword. Now I tempered this up one level. And now if I go to burning, we have rare and epics. All right, so that doesn't get us legendary yet either. Now, what happened? Now, if I give it a rare item, which we have right here, and put it to dwindling or waning, there we can upgrade to legendary. So, if you want legendary, even though, I mean, it's really only a color, it's not increasing your base stats. At least I don't think it is. It's one thing I want to test out. Actually, I'll test that out right now. So let's see. I'm going to upgrade this. First, let's take a look at its stats beforehand. 108, 274. We're going to upgrade it to give... Oh, I have enough to give it health. Nice. That's not legendary. We'll have a give magica. So boom. We'll complete right now for your benefit. All right. And now let's take a look at what I got. Did it increase the base stats? That is the question we're going to answer right now. Wrong one. There we go. It did not. So it is legendary, but I didn't get the benefit of a uh, base stat increase. So that still means to do base stats, you have to go to our old friend over here, Lond. All right, Lond, what happens now if we temper this guy? So what it turns out to be is that by enchanting it to legendary, you're really just changing the color here. So they're both magnificent still, but, you know, magnificent, it's not tempering magnificent. So, like, I, to get the base stats, I still have to temper it all the way to what I, I would have normally done. 
So if we look at a Dwarven Plate Helmet here, you know, Magnificent is only a rare. So I would have to get it up to Sublime or Majestic or Mythical to to increase it enough. So, you know, the uh, color, it's just a coloring. Now, there is some stuff going on with item levels. And if you look at your, like, stat tree, it certain things can increase. You can increase things by certain levels. Let's see. And if we look at character, skills, perks, advanced tempering. Increase Smithy's maximum tempering level by four up to level eight. Let's go ahead and do that. Now let's take a look. What do you got for me, Lond? So let's say I'm looking at this Dwarven Longsword. I can take it all the way up to Majestic and Mythical. Which is uh, pretty high up there, 80k in gold to do that. And let's take a look at what I just did. Magnificent. Same thing. So it really just changed. Enchanting Legendary really just changes the color. It doesn't give too much of a, a benefit in stats at all compared to tempering. Now, I don't quite understand why they change the color. They make it legendary when it really doesn't do much. I mean, I guess you put enough of enchantment on there that makes it better. It does make it better, but, you know, it's a little confusing because tempering also can make things legendary. So there's like two definitions of legendary. Anyway. That's how you get your weapon to legendary by enchanting. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. Please subscribe, like, comment, whatever. Check out the content above. Appreciate it. Have yourself a great day.